Um, hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the Doing the Orange Podcast. And today I have um, two very special guests. It is Ariel Instinct, Lucas Riley, and Jake Atlas. What's up guys? How, How you y'all guys doing? doing? <laughs> okay, so let's get started. So the sure. first questions are actually going to be uh, for Lucas. Okay. Because you're uh, my second time guest. Yeah, no, you're good. Okay, so, sounds okay. good. Lucas, were you a fan of wrestling growing up? Uh, I was a very big fan uh, of wrestling growing up. I discovered wrestling in elementary school and like I believe in the third grade and ever since then I've been hooked I couldn't get enough of it I would buy the magazines the DVDs the action figures everything and uh, yeah okay so um, who are you a fan of um growing up I think um, John Cena actually like started everything for me I feel because um, I bought an action figure of him and um, I feel that even made me want to go and watch wrestling even more because I, I didn't know who he was and um, I was a really big fan of Edge I still am a really ba- big fan of Edge and uh, Rey Mysterio and um, yeah okay so um, do you have a favorite match to watch um, my favorite match of all time would have to be um, Eddie Guerrero versus Rey Mysterio at um, Halloween Havoc. Um, I could watch that match over and over and over. I think the athleticism is unbelievable. And um, yeah, that's just my all time favorite match. Okay, so um, how did you like get started in wrestling? Um, I knew that uh, when I was little, I knew I wanted to become a wrestler. And when I was maybe even in middle school, I started like looking up wrestling schools and um, I saw Santino Bros and I saw, okay, um, it said you had to be 16 or over um, to join. And I was like, okay, when I'm 16, I'm going to join. And then for my 16th birthday, I called in, and they raised it to 18 and over. So I was like, oh, no, no, I've been waiting for this moment. So they finally um, let me do a private session at Santino Bros. And um, from there, I joined the beginners class, and I just went from there. Okay, so um, how long did you train before you had your first match? Um, I, I would train... I think for like a year and a half until I finally made my debut on December 17th against Alonzo Alvarez. So yeah, about a year and a half. Okay, so now we're going to start getting into a tag team now. All right. Okay, so um, how long have you guys, um, oh, I'm sorry, um, how did you become a tag team? Um, I think that we became friends mm-hmm. first and we were always together. Um, yeah. So I started wrestling before him. So I started in August. He started in December. So when he debuted, I started taking him around to shows. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we, one of the shows we would always go to is Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. And when we showed up there, they saw that we were always together. And I think they were almost one. Uh, Brody King always told us that we looked alike. Uh-huh. Um, so that kind of, I guess, sparked it in Hollywood as well. Um, and they said, we're interested in bringing you guys in as a tag team. And so that kind of sparked the idea in us, and uh, yeah. yeah, we kind of agreed to it, and yeah, here we are now. Yep. <laughs> okay, so um, how long have you been a tag team? Um, or probably around six months, probably. Yeah, like officially. Uh, yeah, like, officially, since we started doing tag matches and stuff. Yeah, we've wrestled mainly in Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, but uh, this year we want to branch out to other promotions and right. really show what Ariel Instinct got. Yeah, like Ground Zero tonight. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, is it like harder being in a tag team like than a singles competitor? Mm. Um, I think it anything's a challenge, mm-hmm. and I think it it was a challenge at first. Um, but I think what makes it easier is having a natural connection, having a natural chemistry uh, with each other, because it's easy for us to communicate whatever we want, not only to each other, but to the people that we're going to wrestle. And it it also helps that, like, because we're friends and we'll bounce ideas from each other and we're not afraid to be like, uh, maybe not, maybe we're we're good with like telling them, okay, maybe that's not the best idea. So that definitely helps um, with tag team. 
Okay, so um, do you have like favorite opponents as singles or tag team? Mm. Um, one of uh, our, one of, well, uh, let's see. I'm blanking well, out right now, but I know tag, we have a favorite. Tag team, um, I know the Bonus Boys were really cool right. to wrestle. Right, yes, yes, yes. Uh, They're from Vegas. Championship Wrestling yeah. from Hollywood. Um, um, Hate was actually a really good yeah, uh, opponent really as well. Cool. Um, it's kind of like old school, new school Santino Brothers, so it was really cool. That was a lot of fun. Um, Chris, Chris, Chris Bay, Bay and Nino Black in yeah. Vegas as well uh, have been some good opponents for us as well. So. Yeah, really, really fun. Um, and True Grit, actually. Yeah, True yeah. Grit. So. And even Santino's um, uh, Dom Kubrick and Matt oh, Vandegrift, Matt Vandegrift. we yeah. wrestled them, and yeah. they were a really good tag team. And yeah. it was kind of surprising, but like that was a really good match. It's really hard to pick one favorite. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, do you guys have any upcoming shows? Uh, yes, so obviously we're at Ground Zero tonight, um, and then we will actually be at Ground Zero Phase 3 yeah. um, on March 31st. Uh, we'll have a mystery, actually, tag team partner with us, um, but uh, we will be on the show as Aerial Instinct. And then this Friday, we're also uh, wrestling uh, for LWP, and that is in Bell Gardens. Mm -hmm. um, so check that out. We'll yeah. be in action as well. Okay, so we've kind of reached the end of our podcast here. Okay. So is there any way people can follow you on, like, your social medias? Uh, yeah, my social media is LucasRiley099, um, Instagram and Twitter. And you can find me at I am Jake Atlas on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, yep, go ahead and give me a follow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you guys for being a guest to my podcast. No, of course. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so... Thank <laughs> <laughs>